Hey everyone, welcome to another AI Fuzz video. Today we have a workflow to share with you where you can in paint anything and replace it with anything and then upscale it to make it look good. So this is a very useful workflow. I use it for changing outfits on models. You can change faces. You can change objects they're holding, anything like that. So I did put a link in the description what this is going to need and it is going to the, the eSAM and the YOLO uh, packages. So where are, we are going to load these up first. Then we're going to be the YOLO model loader first. And then, then it'd be the eSAM model loader. No, I don't think that's it. Let me, let me, let's do a checkpoint. And then an image. Okay, then we're going to image scale to total pixels right here. And then we're going to need this YOLO ESAM mode, ma uh, node. Okay, we're going to need a couple text and codes. Positive and negative. And you just color these. All right, so from here, we're going to go to a save image. Here, go ahead and do a grow mask node. And then we are going to do a in paint model conditioning right here at the bottom. All right, we have half of the, the workflow done. Let's do some connections so we don't get too far behind. We'll taste direction and I'll move this over. We're going to connect the YOLO model world, the YOLO world model to that. We're going to get, connect the ESAM model here. We're going to the image right there. Image here. And image up here. From the image scale to total pixels. Hey, Max, we're giving you the K sampler. And I connect the model. Here may be the positive, negative, wait, or we're gonna do the mask to the grow mask, and then from a grow mask to this infame modeling conditioner conditioning. Okay, we're gonna do a via you decode right here. This will show us what it in paints uh, when you put that in. Okay, we're gonna do another. See the image here. It does gonna give us a picture of what it does, or what it looks like after it doesn't. And I'm gonna actually do a um, upscale. And my favorite upscale right now is a su superior upscale. And this image. And then we will do a save then a cheer for the last part. I like to do 1.5 that is the upscale. Everything else is fine. We'll leave that the same. Looks like everything else is connected. So how this works is fairly simple. So let's load an image. So once we have everything set up, and then I love this picture of this dress that Bog is wearing. And all you have to do is in this text box on the Hello World, you Sam, just type in what you want to change. And now click dress. Okay. In the positive prompt, you want to probably you want to put that, but you want to probably want to change your width. So I'll click um, purple. dress or something she's currently wearing a blue a gray blue dress okay once that's all set let's hit you front it's going to go through there and it's point to you'll see how it it will mask out the dress see 
it automatically masks it out. There's a good driver on the parents. And then it's going to go into the should appear upscale and give you a final image, which we will get to right now. Okay, this is done. So during it, we have the before and the after. I also threw in a, a comparison note from uh, RG3 Suite, which is, a, a, you use this a lot. So here's the before. And then you can cross it over and there's the after. So let's get a man to it. It also did a nice job with the upscale. There's a before. And there's the after. So you can do this to change a lot of stuff. I'm going to do a mother him Megs. Let's do a face this time. Let's do a tough face. Um, let's try this one. Close off a of Blanca. And again, here you just want to make sure you type in what you want to change. And I will pull that hair as well if it'll do that. And then here, let's do a face I'll let comfy you I decide and then I'm going to put um cake here if that will work all right let's try that tree in front of and see what that comes out as and we'll see here if it actually will do both masks of the hair and the face and it did both masks it's having a little trouble over there yeah this is going to be a tough one because that's a really troublesome area for masks so i'm not going to hold my breath and there's already the image that came out of it and actually it did pretty well okay so here is the before image and here is the after totally changed the image gave it a new face gave it the pink hair purple hair that i requested and also upscaled it and took care of the blurriness. There was a lot of blurriness in the original. And it took care of that. Even in the back, it even took care of the hair. It did a tank acid job. See right there? I thought that all didn't be a troublesome area, but it really did well on my niche. So that's... So you see Blanca's holding a brown bag. So we're going to put here. Um, we will change... Face... Bag. Okay, and then we will have her wear a, have the red bag. All right, let's chew prompt. Hopefully it'll pick up on both of those. Oh, missed the face, but it did pick up on the bag. All right, it's finished, and here is the original. Here is the after with the red bag and the upscale. So I'll switch the colors of the bag and remove some of the shadow, and it did a, a quick upscale on Blanca's. So that worked, and you can use it for a lot of different things. Here I changed the picture of a sign to uh, a man and a woman to looks like a dog, to dog people. Dog people. Yeah, man and a woman, dog people. And here I did a uh, change of someone's face. I wanted to test out handle the lighting, and I did a fairly good job with that. So if you guys like this video, make sure you comment, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put a link to the workflow as well as the um, GitHub in the description. And let us know what you think. And I'll, we will see you guys next time on another After Fuzz video.